Hello everybody in the so winter nice time in Latvia as you can see we have a plenty of snow I would say it's pretty much isn't it yeah and we have an Audi an Audi Q7 we need to somehow open the bonnet and we have a fan spinning no communication with the engine control unit I already pulled it off but the bonnet is dropping down so I need to fix it oh, let's say I fix that thing otherwise we have pretty much weight on here it's a ice and stuff like that and cylinders probably is gone in the so cold time it's not actually so cold so here you can see it's Bosch it's already I pull it out it was none of the things on it it just probably I don't know what's wrong with them but uh, there is no communication and it looks like plenty of water in here plenty of nasty so we need to get these plugs off let's do it so I unplugged the ECU when we put on the diagnostics other day there was no communication with engine control unit the car just stopped when it's been driving it just stopped lost the communication with the engine control unit so what it has uh, it's a EDC 16 CP 34 I think so but anyway probably they've been opened and there can be a water inside water damage I don't know I think we're gonna open it up and see what is inside to have a closer look what it got and to see and to see yeah what can be wrong with them and we can swap with another ones another thing what actually can be is something with the wiring you can see there is some corrosions but I don't know is can that be a problem or the ECU is bad so we need to find it out uh, so we pin it on on the table I have the diagnostics launch on the one side and then I have the electronic control unit on another we have a car line as you can see there this we have a pin out as you can see plus minus and then and, and ignition and the K line and uh, yeah there is no communication communication error with the vehicle is not possible to read anything from the engine control unit it's not answering anything so uh, that's the problem for now uh, we try we try connect with the with the read the software from the ECU if somebody asks, yes, we did try uh, this kind of connection type as well. So there you can see is a can high, can low, and did not find anything. It's asking for the wind, so that means it's not find nothing. And as you can see, we have a can line, can low, can high. We have a 220 ohms resistor between the can line and nothing. So the last chance is to try to read the software for possibility to clone the ECU to another one. So we are connected, we're using a GPT lines in there and there, plus minus K line and stuff like that. And we just need to click now the ID button. So we can see if the ECU gonna go and find something on the ID. So let's click a yes button and we need to wait. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. So it's connecting to the ECU. In a little time. It says Motorola processor inside. And we can see still we are able to read the software out of the ECU. That's very important. Then we can be able to clone. But here you go. It says control power supply and connection. Communication error. So it cannot communicate. We have a power and stuff like that. All is pretty nice. No problem with that. But as you can see, the electronic control unit is not going onto the communication. So that means this lovely EDC 16 is completely gone. Uh, another thing, of course, what we can do, we can open it up and see what is inside. Is there is some damages, and then and then we can try to read it by the open mode this is another possibility so let's do it
in a question how to correctly open up the ECU you just screw out those screws and what you need to do you need to heat up all the way around and then you can use this kind of tools as you can see they are special tools there is like a tread on the here and then you have like a knot on the front and you just screw them in and you will be able to lift that thing pretty nice and easy up we have four things so we can add three in there one in there so basically it's pretty nice so let's keep heating it up and pop this thing off so this is how you lift it up as you can see we already have a gap so just keep screwing all the way around and you get this thing off okay I get them open up Whew, a little bit hot yes but we already find the problem actually if you know something about this I can tell you definitely they are shit and crap you can chuck them out straight just in rubbish box these are pretty shitty things <laughs> So I used them first time and I think the last time. So this is another thing. Yeah, but uh, the ECU is opened up. As you can see, this is 100% original. There's nobody been opening it up. So definitely it's never been opened. And I will have to find some light to show you a little bit all these things better. So let's pop my lighter on. Here you go. I think you will be able to see in the camera. So this is the first thing what I get in my eyes. Look. Yes. It's some kind of microcontroller. It's a Bosch science on it. And as you can see there is a burn left where it was burned and that's the problem. This is the one problem. Another side if you look how this CCU cover been placed off as you can see, you even see where the burning process was. Look, it's just right in this corner. So let's can see closer. Look, it's burned off. So that's the one thing. If we go further on, and probably, I don't know what is this, but as you go closer, you can see there is, I would say, what is that? Is it some kind of a mushroom? This looks like water, actually. I'm not sure how the water get in here, but you saw the electronic control unit is not located in the best place where it can be. So that's the problem. Probably it gets in from another side. I'm not sure about that. But if we look all the way around the seal, the seal actually looks pretty good, but I don't know in which place it gets through. So that's the problem. As you can see, this is the seal all originally and uh, that's the thing in here so this is uh, oxidation it's not very good definitely it's not very good and then if we move forward on I reckon there was something more in here to see but these are pretty much of the matches I don't know if there is a burn something or not not quite sure but but definitely these are mine problems um what it is it is what it is you can't do nothing with it and uh, and then and then what can i say probably this controller is here is is very important what we gonna do we're gonna try to read it out uh, by these bdm ports so we can connect them and read it out the electronic control unit and hopefully we will do it but i'm not sure if we're gonna do it there's some contacts in here it's not too bad actually but but anyway I would say the biggest damage is this one definitely so let's read it out now on the BDM frame so for the conclusion in this new year uh, 2021 is a good start maybe yes maybe no but we did find and try the last version which one means we connect it on the BDM frame so we use adapter and connect it right to the pins and guess what it's all connected and all nice but as you can see here there is a none of reaction so that means uh, error communication and then we have another one which one says 
unidentified microcontroller so that means it cannot identify the microcontroller so it means it cannot read out the software from it so the ECU is completely bad completely wrong and probably the microcontroller which one is in here in the side is completely gone so conclusion of all of that I tested the many of solutions how to read this ECU out uh, none of them is working that's why probably ECU is definitely so gone then even you cannot connect to the electronic control unit the mind processor with MPC 564 module Motorola and you cannot do nothing with it so I think in the next video which I'm gonna be like a, I think part 2 we're gonna get some user DCU and we're gonna do a online coding again because in this case I cannot do anything anymore it's not possible I can do just online coding now so thanks for watching don't forget to click that subscribe button and give a like and see you in the next video how to adapt a used one electronic control unit on the Audi car using online coding thanks bye